YouTube family. Mm. Welcome back for yet another episode of your boy Jay's collection, man. This is three quarters of the way, man. This is part three of four, man. I don't know why I'm holding these beauties, but anyway, man, this is part three or four. If you guys have not yet checked out part one or part two, make sure you check that out because it's a lot of, hey, it's a lot of gems in that video right there, man. So make sure y'all check out part one and two if you haven't checked out neither one of those. And if you have checked them out already, I truly appreciate y'all, man. I truly appreciate y'all for watching and supporting that vid, man. But a quick recap, man, on part one. On part one, come over here, y'all, real quick. On, on part one, your boy did hit this side of my collection so i went through all of this and i did go through all this stuff scattered right here on the floor so i did all that in part one i think i stopped at this row so this was all in part one man so check out part one y'all see everything from this side over part two we started right here i think part two might have started with what the the air pennies so it did start with the penny ones on part two and i think oh yeah i got some good memory it ended at the red carpet lebron seven so check that one out but i did do all of this and i did do the whole entire bottom row so the whole entire bottom row was completed in part two now we are on to part three man and part three will consist of mainly my favorite silhouette the air jordan one so like i did say it will consist mainly of air jordan ones it might be some other outside shoes in between it um but for the most part this will be about jordan ones man so i'm gonna get into all these jordan ones right here in this middle part as well as we're gonna go up here to the top section so we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go and stop about right here man so that's what episode three will be about if you are an air jordan one lover man you're gonna want to watch this video if you are an air jordan one lover still stick around because it might be some things that you see here that might bring back some memories of whatnot man but what i need for y'all to do real quick for your boy jay take a look at them shoes right there february 18th 2023 man they beautiful right take a look at these right here march 3rd 2023 man so these right here this whole section you know and what's down here on the bottom that will all be episode four so stay tuned for episode four because you will see some bangers some heaters you will see some heaters in episode four man so four is going to be an episode that you want to tune into as well but make sure you watch this full one because like i did tell y'all it's going to be some gems and everything going to be scattered out but um am i forgetting anything come here for a second hit that like button for your boy man make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to subscribe man i truly appreciate y'all as always and um i done did enough talking man let's go ahead and dive right into part three man let's get it all right y'all so starting the collection you know we got to start red hot this time man so this box right here isn't your typical air jordan one box orange and black come with me real quick y'all so orange and black box is for a so fly sneaker man so i do have a hat in here this is actually one of the only shoes i got a hat in here with the shoes but as you can see right here the air jordan one so flies on deck these right here tough i had to cop these i paid resale paid a lot of money for these joints but um fire shoe man started off with a heater with a heater the air jordan one high so flies one of the two colorways they released but definitely one of my favorite jordan ones up next man we got to keep it so flyish as you can see right here another soul fly shoe from nike and jordan brand right here i do have the air jordan one low soul flies man this was a shoe that released in 2022 maybe 2022 but so fly or actually 2021 but so fly lows gotta have these dope a lot of people slept on them but i did it man so so fly lows next up man one of my favorites bro this was a women's exclusive i hate that they only made them for the women but these right here cold this is the atmosphere aka bubble gums yeah bubble gum air jordan ones 
patent leather hits on it iridescent type color on that pink part but these right here fly man i wish that they made this in a full family size run because i know a lot of people wanted to get their hands on these definitely a clean pair of shoes man the leather materials and all that was good on it take a look at it that that tumbling leather right there on that side panel man these were solid but definitely a nice pair of jordan ones in my opinion and um price ain't too bad on them so check them out up next these were a women's exclusive and i don't know how i feel about these man these might not be sticking around in my collection too long but this is the air jordan one um court purple are these called a the court purple i think so but i mean i don't know i might hold them looking at them in hand they just clean they got a a very very good you know what i'm saying hit a leather on there, as you can see very very tumbled up but nice leather on this shoe but i don't know i don't know how often i would wear these man if any but they not a bad shoe but uh, it is what it is but core purple air jordan women exclusive joints got these in the collection as well up next look a lot of y'all hated on this shoe a lot of y'all didn't like it but i do like different shoes such as this one this one is the is it the handcrafted i think yeah handcrafted air jordan ones and as you can see your boy did swap out those laces with some bordeaux laces come on bro come on so this is actually a clean pair of shoes perfect for this time of the year around fall winter you know what i'm saying definitely a clean shoe in my opinion so of course handcrafted with them bordeaux laces gotta have these in the collection look if you trying to be seen yeah you know i mean you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so this right here is a shoe that is from the family i call it from the uh the rebellion of family because it does have that same type of graffiti writing and stuff on it but this right here is the air jordan one dang what do you do visionaries visionaries these are the visionary air jordan ones bro just bright bro just they pop they popping on um, i don't know if you can see the detail on it it did have that crackled leather all throughout this shoe and this is like a very similar looking shoe to the air jordan one lost and found in its own way you know it doesn't have the crack material up top but it does have it going throughout the shoe which kind of gives it you know that lost and found look man but if you want to be seen yeah i mean yeah i mean but visionaries bro up next we got a gray box it's looking real cool gray man come on me for a second so this is the empty box that i do have right here but that shoe is right here if i can get to it probably can yeah i can so this shoe right here is one of the best air jordan one to release of 2021 if not the best the navy co jps these fire man on um, this actually started off the pack as far as with those silver swooshes i want to say but a lot of people hated on the tongue but overall this was a solid shoe best arguably leather air jordan one we had in a while but hey clean shoe i wore them one time you could barely even tell but these fire you know i gotta have these in the collection bro navy co jps up next we gotta take another trip over here y'all because this colorful box right here is a shoe that your boy hit for retail man this is one of the few shoes i hit for retail on and as you can see the box you can see the shoe so there you have them we do have the air jordan one j balvins this is actually one of his best jordan brand releases in my opinion i wasn't really feeling the twos so the ones they was just blow you know what i'm saying they was all over the place so it did have its little special details and stuff the little pouches that you can put on there you know what i'm saying so it did have its little you know razzle dazzle on it but i did hit for retail this is like one of the few shoes that i hit for retail it's not going for too much but i still hit for retail on this shoe and i was excited when i did so j bobbin ones yeah they something different up next y'all we got a white and red box dopeness this is what the cherry 11 should have came in it should have came in a jordan 11 box that looked just like this i think that would have been dope but right here if you know you know we do got the air jordan the highly slept on the highly slept on air jordan one heritage you can find this shoe right now for a very cheap price bro and i think that this is a this is a solid shoe man like look look at the feature boy is rocking right i'm in the crib i just came home that's why i'm dressed like this but anyways a fit like this if i were to put these on with it you know what i'm saying peep the fit i could do that right i could do that but get you some of them heritage bro get you some heritage they going for the low up next right here we got one of these jordan boxes this is the air jordan one low crab eh, meh meh but um your boy paid 50 dollars for these man so it was a no-brainer man to cop these for the low low 50 dollar pair of air jordan one lows and they not bad um i just caught them at a good time on sale but i'll definitely probably pull these out during the summer or something but craft air jordan one lows low life as always shout out to my fam over at hibbit city gear laces are took out because y'all already know what your boy doing but this is the air jordan one low twist right Air Jordan One Low Twist, yeah, Tropical Twist. So these were gifted to me by my fam over at Hibbit City Gear, man. So big shout out to them for these. 
clean summer shoe man clean clean summertime shoe as you can see teal and it do have like a little sunrise swoosh but not a bad air jordan one low in my opinion keeping it moving look this is one of my favorites this was actually the first air jordan one low of this kind that i got in my collection it actually i'm lying it wasn't the first one but this is the shattered backboard air jordan one low prices on these are ridiculous for this style of air jordan one low and they going for like i said a grip and they clean in my opinion so modeled after the infamous air jordan one high shattered backboard you do have the lows and it does have you know new buck it doesn't have many leather hits on the toe box as well as on the back only got leather right there on the side and it gives it a nice little synthetic bumpy type look but it's very cheap type leather if you ask me but these are solid shoe in my opinion shattered backboard lows up next this was a shoe that your boy had two pairs of but i ended up getting rid of one of my pairs but i do have one left and that is the reverse bread reverse bread toe yeah reverse bread toe lows right here fire shoe man i remember when i first caught them i caught them for resale off goat then they dropped in the states and they was everywhere they actually had another colorway that was very similar to this if you know you know but reverse bread toes fire air jordan one low in my opinion very similar to the last shoe this was a pair that was gifted to me by hibbit city gear this is a reverse reverse bread toe in my opinion because it's more red than it did have black on the other shoe but i did get this pair gifted to me from hibbit city gear so shout out to my fam as always for blessing your boy with the dopeness and this is an air jordan one mid i know a lot of y'all don't care about the mids but i think that this is a solid mid in my opinion and um these actually went quick they, they didn't stick around for too long so shout out to everybody who got these man and like i said shout out to my fam do we need to even get into these right here? Come on, bro. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. So right here, as you can see, a quadruple up. We do have the 2022, in my opinion, sneaker of the year. The Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. I mean, I'm not even going to spend no time on this, you know. They in the collection. Lost and Founds. Up next, one of my favorites, man. I think these released back in 2021. You see it, man. You cannot go wrong with this color blocking. I don't care what you put it on. You can put it on. You can put it on some Shack Attacks. You feel me? Yeah, Shack Attacks. You cannot miss with the UNC Blue colorway. So this is University Blue Air Jordan 1s. I had, I don't even know how many pairs of these I had. I'm only down to one now. But I did wish I kept a double up. And I still actually might go back and buy a double up, man. But these right here, fire shoe in my opinion. The University Blue Air Jordan 1s. Dopeness. Keeping it moving right here, one of the classic, classic Air Jordan 1s from the last probably about five or six years. I did hit this pair for retail. I probably hit on about four or five of these pairs, man, but I only got one left, and that is the Air Jordan 1 High gold toe so this isn't the top three version this is just the regular one that released at retail stores i hit them at hibbit for retail i think this was back when hibbit was letting you just 12 o'clock uh whenever nobody picks up pairs you can just clear house and i had about like five or six of these but down to one now but this is a fire shoe in my opinion i'll never never let go of these because i just think that this is a dope dope shoe in my opinion but gold toes gold dust yeah gold dust joints man got them in the collection so right here whoo Whew. this is a cold one man so another empty box but you see a plastic bag in there so that means it's gotta be something special right let's take a walk y'all let's take a walk so over here over here i do have the shattered backboard oh Bruh. it's the wrong shoe psych i was just playing we ain't there yet y'all we ain't there yet but since we right here man since we right here let's kill two birds with one store stone so right here as you can see your boy does have the OG shattered backboard, which can y'all get that glitter? You see that glitter on there? Like, man, but this one right here is Chris, man. Shout out to the homie Just For Kicks. He did bless me with these for like a crazy price, but the only place this one got glitter is on that swoosh. Y'all see that? Well, it does have some on the back tab too, but reverse one and two. We're killing two birds with one stone, but we got 1.0 and 2.0 of the shattered backboard right here. Dopeness, you know these gotta be in the collection. If you a Jordan 1 lover, and I mean, if you ain't got them and you can't afford them, these is a must for the collection. But 1.0, 2.0, must have for the collection. Up next, another dope one, man. This is a dope shoe in my opinion. This is the Air Jordan 1 Court Purples. And what we got, man, like all this, this glitter stuff, I don't know where it be coming from, bro. Like, 
man but we got it off but air jordan one court purples these released alongside the pine green air jordan ones if y'all remember man that was that was a crazy time back then um both shoes are going for crazy amounts right now but this shoe you don't see them too often and look got some more stuff going on right there man so i gotta hit these with some cleaning wipes and hopefully we can get that out but i don't i don't know what jordan brand got going on with their materials but court purples they dope Right here, y'all, another empty box. We gotta take another walk. I should have killed three birds with one stone, but I killed two. We got one left, and that is the Shattered Backboard 3.0s. I mean, you can put quotations on it because they didn't officially list them as Shattered Backboards, but come on now. You know, you do got that shiny patent leather hit that's crinkled up, which gives it like a broken glass type look, but Halloween, you know, slash fall shoes, giving big, big vibes of that, but these, I think that these are sleepers, man. A lot of people still really aren't a fan of them, but I think that this is one of the dopest Shadow Backboards. Up next, shout out to my family again, Hibbit Sports City Gear. They sent me this one, but I, 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 you know I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. I appreciate them for sending me this shoe, but I wasn't the biggest fan of these. But this will not be going anywhere because like I told y'all, I do not get rid of any gifts given to me. But this is the tie-dye Air Jordan 1 mid. You know, meh. You know what I'm saying? But it did come with some pink laces. Maybe I got to throw the pink laces in there. Give it a little pop. But Air Jordan 1 mid tie-dyes. I do have these as well. Another Air Jordan 1 low life right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 low Lakers, man. So if you guys remember when these released, it was a, a time where a lot of Air Jordan 1 lows was being released. But this was one of the ones that stood out to me. This is the Lakers colorway. Of course, it does have new buck where all the black hits are. And then it does have those, you know, multi-color hits everywhere else. But I think that these are fly. And, of course, the laces didn't come with them. I did swap those laces out. It came with black laces, I want to say. But do got yellow in there to kind of give it a little pop. But Lakers, Air Jordan 1 lows, they clean. Up next, another Air Jordan 1 low. Which did release, I want to say, last year. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Greens. Still got my pair of dead stock. Very, very clean. Like, this is actually a very clean pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's that new form. It's not, if they made this same colorway in an OG Air Jordan 1 Low form, bananas, bananas. But, of course, the Pine Green Lows, you know your boy had to cop these. These are tough. Up next, some more. Is this mids? I think that this is mids. Maybe not. Woo, okay, this is the first Air Jordan 1 low like this as far as this type of new model that your boy picked up. I don't have any laces in there because, you know, but the, the black toe Air Jordan 1 lows, this started it all. I think I paid how much? I paid like the low for these. I probably paid like 60 bucks for these because I did have coupons when I purchased these. And this was back when they were going for $90, man. But check the resale on this shoe, bro. These are hitting for like three, maybe 400. I don't know, depending on size. But this right here, the Black Toe Air Jordan 1 Lows, this is actually all where it started. You know, the low life journey for your boy. But tough shoe. I wish, I wish I could have doubled up on these, but it's all good. I got one and one is enough. This is a shoe that we did not see in the United States. I think that these only released overseas and it is another Air Jordan 1 low. This is the hemp white Air Jordan 1 lows. Now, come on, take a good look at those. Take a good look at those, man. So the earth tones, the gum bottom, the all over white color blocking, bro. This is a shoe that I had to have because I just, like I said, it's just a casual, clean looking pair of Air Jordan 1 lows, man. And y'all know your boy, like I said, I'm, I'm big on the low life stuff, man. So this is definitely a shoe that I had to have in the collection. Hemp white Air Jordan 1 lows. Check them out, check them out. They did not release in the US. Double up, shouty. So shout out to the homie, Da Vintage, man. Shout out to my homie, Da Vintage. He did bless me with one of these pairs right here. This is, of course, the recent Air Jordan 1 High OG Taxi. So I do have a dead stock pair as I showed y'all to double up. And I do have one that I do well. Of course, got to wear them. But definitely a shoe that resembles very much so the Shadow Backboard. So I didn't want to miss out on this shoe. I said, let me go ahead and grab two. And yeah, man, shout out to the homie again for blessing me with one of those pairs. But Air Jordan 1 Taxis, get these now. Get these now because these going to run away from y'all in price. Fire. Up next, we got a heater, man. This is a, a abnormal size box, but this is a heater in my opinion when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 Lows. And this is the Air Jordan 1 Low Corals. So this shoe released back in uh, 2022 last year. Clean pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows, man. I 
tired of talking about doubling up, but this is the shoe that I should have doubled up on too as well. Clean shoe, it does have that crackle leather all throughout the front of the shoe. A lot of people didn't like that, but you can't really tell, bro. Look, from back here, you can't really tell that it has that crackle leather. So when they're on your feet, you can't tell. So people just be, you know, complaining about things that really don't matter but you know to each his own you know at the end of the day but this is a clean air jordan one low og style shoe in my opinion 2022 release had to have these Ooh, up next up next Whew, it's getting cold in here it's getting cold in here man so up next you see the box man it's no secret you already know if you know what's in this box man sneak peek Hoo-wee. so this shoe right here is a shoe that i paid of course resale for man i could not get these for the retail but i do have them wrapped up all nice and neat let me go ahead and check it out i got to show you a good look at these real quick so this is of course the air jordan one high rest in peace to the late great virgil off-white you and c's man so how can you go wrong and on this note man we're gonna we're gonna come right over here we're gonna move this out the way since we talking about these joints right here man it's only right man it's only right man so this is where it all started man shout out to the homie just for kicks again man because he allowed me to get my grill this was like the grail of all grails for me and this is of course the air jordan one high og when i say og i mean og og y'all but og off-white chicago's man so here i do have the off-white chicago's and the off-white unc's so both of them are in the collection hey pick your poison man and of course they worn i wear all my shoes so got soul protectors on these i wish i put them on these but both of these are worn they're not dead stock i wear all my shoes so off-white chicago's whoo we put some emphasis on these man but r.i.p virgil man gotta have both these Ooh, heaters everywhere man look if y'all haven't checked out part two check out part two it's heaters everywhere bro but keeping it moving y'all we do have another air jordan one low this is an og low right here and this is a very clean low in my opinion this is the air jordan one low uh neutral gray so neutral gray lows i do have these in the collection all over white pair clean man you need these bro and um these going for a steal right now in my opinion i believe i'm not too sure about what all the sizes look like it might be expensive in other sizes but i know in my size i really you know what i'm saying should just get a another pair because they so clean i want to keep them icy but neutral gray lows collection worthy and these are clean in my opinion a lot of people don't like them because of little things such as the swoosh but this is the air jordan one high bordeaux these released back in 2021 I want to say 2021 man with magnificent leather quality bro take a look at that leather Leather on these were phenomenal, bro. So had to have these, keeping these in the collection. Definitely a dope pair, in my opinion. Up next, another clean shoe. This was a colorway that we never seen on the Air Jordan 1 High. So I definitely had to get my hands on these and keep a pair, man. But this is the Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1 Highs. And as you can see, I do have a lace swap in there. They don't come with the gray laces, but I thought the gray was a nice look, clean look in them. So, uh, Definitely a clean pair at Jordan 1's in my opinion. I think the price may have went up on these and um, I don't know. Jordan brand has been going crazy with like the new book and these different types of materials on Air Jordan 1 lately. Most recently the um the true blues. They put leather on the true blues. So they've been going crazy. Or not leather, but new buck. Y'all know what I mean. But they've been going crazy with the new buck type of material, which is something we never seen back in the early days of the Jordan 1. So it's a new wave i guess up next now this one is a sleeper man nobody talks about this shoe right here i don't even know if they, i remember about this shoe but this shoe right here is the air jordan one what's the name y'all racer blues man so this is the air jordan one racer blues like i did say a lot of people forgot about this shoe they don't really talk about them and i don't really even be wearing my wearing my pair like that like i only wore it one time should have put some sole protectors on that i probably still can because it's not really that dirty but the racer blue air jordan ones these are nice in my opinion something different i was just talking about the different type of materials they put on jordan ones and take a look at this one man like patent leather you don't have too many all over patent leather with just you know little subtle hits of leather on this shoe and um i remember these shoes were going for a crazy amount but this is like a zoom so this is the air jordan one zoom high but this is a clean colorway in my opinion so racer blues dopeness up next release from 2022 this is a shoe that i have yet to wear and that is 
the mystic blues i think these are called the mystic blue lows um these right here not bad they could have did better with them like i did say when i did mention a uh, first look at these i don't really too much care for like the glossy type overlay on the leather material but speaking of the leather material it got some nice leather on this shoe man so og air jordan one lows it does look very familiar to like the royals just a darker blue but i think that these are not bad in my opinion so mystic lows had to have a pair of these all right y'all so black box i already know what time it is this must be a air jordan one bro shout out to hibbit gear <laughs> shout out to hibbit sports and city gear because that is how these ended up in my collection and um like i said man i'm, I'm gonna take them you know i'm not i'm not gonna be mad at them but this isn't really my cup of tea but these won't be leaving the collection because like i said it was gifted to me but shout out to them man it's not really too much i can say about these but hey they here so this one right here is one of the first air jordan one lows in my collection and these are the university gold air jordan one lows man so these went look receipts are good y'all receipts are good so i did purchase these uh april 3rd 2019 bro so i april 3rd 2019 can you see the price look camera girl can you see that price you, you. 64.20 is what i paid for this shoe right here y'all man so 64 dollars and 20 cents please check the market of the university gold air jordan one lows let me know how much these are going for because i only paid 64 dollars and 20 cents for these but that was the good old days these retail for like what 80 dollars back in the day or 90 dollars i think they're going for like 130 now like your average air jordan one low nowadays 130 is retail so it's crazy how whenever somebody like gravitates to a certain shoe nike tries to take advantage of it but good old days 64 dollars man up next another shoe i wasn't able to get my hands on these man shout out to my guy over in new york his name is e-money he did look out for your boy for these i paid like 140 man so shout out to him i got the spade air jordan one lows in the collection clean pair clean clean pair it does have those hits of sale on it of course it got king on this shoe i think the other shoe might got like a q am i right i didn't look at it but is it a q it should be so you got queen and king i think yeah that's exactly what it is so you do got those two main cards king and queen and i think that these are cloak uh clean pair air jordans in my opinion so take a look at the tongue spades that's the name of the shoe air jordan one low spades had to have these in the collection man dopeness so right here we do have another air jordan one low which these are nice these are nice man these are the barcelona air jordan one lows right here it does come with an extra set of red laces which i think that red gonna be popping bro so i just got them on ice right now um if you guys remember back in the day there was an air jordan one low called the nothing but net air jordan one low that did have a similar you know what i'm saying interior sock liner area but these not bad i think that these are dope summertime come around whoo think you're gonna do something with these but all over patent leather slight leather hits on it these are not bad gum bottom too so barcelona air jordan one lows got these in the collection up next another air jordan one low i'm not too sure if these released they didn't i know for a fact these did not release in the u.s so these were an overseas exclusive and that is the air jordan one low k54 so take a look at the tongue you do got two different things on the tongue right there as well as on the back you do got the k54 it's a basketball tournament but you do have that logo on the back as well as you know just dopeness bro like the unfinished exposed tongue you know gum bottoms bro i haven't worn these yet but i did lace them up i was just like inches away from putting these on feet like i said i did lace them up and everything but i didn't end up wearing them but i do look forward to wearing these very very soon man this is actually one of the best air jordan one lows that i own in my opinion one of my faves but take real quick take a look at the back of that you see that leather on the back leather quality on this shoe crazy man but k54 lows gotta have them so right here y'all best of 2021 in my opinion so right here of course two boxes you see what they are man so i do have a double up of the air jordan one high patent breads fire shoe bro these right here come on bro come on so patent breads is the shoe that i had to have a double up of um i'm not, not much to say about it i'm speechless bro but patent breads if you ain't got them better get them because y'all already know them prices gonna start running away but 
iconic shoe, patent leather bread, gotta have them. So it seems like this row, everything coming in two. So same thing for these right here. I do got two boxes. I do have two of the same shoes. Um, let me show y'all real quick. Bang, that's one. Bang, that's two. So I do have a double up of the recently released Air Jordan 1 Low Powder Blues. Man, this was a shoe that I felt that I needed to double up on because they just so clean, bro. Powder Blue Lows. First time that we have seen this colorway on the Air Jordan 1 Low. Like I said, UNC Blue, bro. You cannot... You cannot go wrong with a UNC Blue. Like, it's a different shade, as you can see, but it's very close. So, you know, UNC Blue, gotta have these double up definitely in the collection. Right here, this is another half of one of the shoes that I showed y'all earlier. This is the... Ooh-wee! It is glitterified, man. Like, like I said, I don't know what Jordan brand got going on with this material. You see that glitter on there, man? Dang. But... On another note, do you see that leather? Do you see that leather, man? So this is the Air Jordan 1 Pine Greens. These released back in 2020, I wanna say. But this had arguably one of the best leather on this shoe to be an Air Jordan 1. Like, phenomenal, crazy leather on this shoe. But the Pine Green released alongside the Court Purples that I did show you at the beginning of the video. This was the second shoe. And it was crazy because I wanna say they released both on the same day. So, Kind of crazy, but Pine Green Air Jordan 1's collection worthy, definitely. Now, this shoe right here was sitting. Y'all was so much disrespecting this shoe, man. But a lot of y'all want them now. After time has passed, that shoe is none other than the oh-so-fire Turbo Green Air Jordan 1's. These so tough, bro. Like, the different materials that they put on here. Like I said, when these first came out, a lot of people was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? They was like, whatever about them. But a lot of people have grown to like this shoe, man. This shoe has <sighs> fire, fire, man. Up so next, crazy quality colorway. I don't know, bro, I don't know. But this is the Light Fusion Air Jordan 1s. As you can see right here, I mean, eh. Man, you know what I'm saying? You can put together a nice outfit for the summertime with these. But like I said, where this shoe right here gets all its credit points from me is this quality, bro. This you don't see this type of quality, man. Um, and I think Jordan Brand know what they doing. They was like the colorway is so so, but we can make up for it with the quality. But if you like quality and if you want a cheap pair of Air Jordan ones, I mean, you can just get these. Up next, another Air Jordan one, low life. So right here, this is a clean pair of Air Jordan 1 lows and I do got a lace swap in here you know they did not come with these laces I don't know why I got pur I might have had on a purple something with a purple outfit for me to have like a light it's like a lavender color lace I got in there but black laces white laces had these set off right but these right here clean pair of shoes in my opinion and definitely had to have these in the collection you know it's not too many Air Jordan 1 low OGs that I miss out on so did have to catch these and yeah dopeness up next a shoe we just spoke on man we just spoke on these and that is the air jordan one high hyper royals man i be having all type of different colors in my shoes man but if y'all look back to my review of these y'all see the outfit that i put together for these it worked out real good with the orange laces but the hyper royals like i did mention about the turbo greens about five minutes or less ago this is where this shoe came behind it came behind the turbo green same type of uh like rub down leather on it and you know it is what it is but a uh, clean pair of air jordan ones in my opinion a release of 2021 solid shoe all right, y'all. So right here, we do have a shoe, an Air Jordan 1 Low. That is modeled after an Air Jordan 1 High. That is the Air Jordan 1 Low Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. These are hard. I definitely love this color block, man. Very, very versatile. You can wear this with whatever. I know I got on these bright colors or whatnot, but I can easily throw this on with my fit because black, white, and gray, anything. You cannot go wrong with it. So I can throw on purple, red, pink. You get the picture. Shadows, very versatile. Dope color blocking low life up next another og well it's not really an og but it is modeled after another air jordan one high that is the air jordan one low game royals man these are dope they did not come with the white laces they came with black laces but you know we got to swap it and give it that clean look but these right here very very clean air jordan one low in my opinion like see jordan brand knew what they were doing because all these type of og style colorways and stuff 
we should have got these on like the OG Air Jordan 1 silhouette, you know what I'm saying? But it definitely doesn't look bad on this style of Air Jordan 1 in my opinion. So for that, I had to take them and you know what I'm saying? Throw it on with the fit or something, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey it is what it is. But these Game Royals, tough. Another Air Jordan 1 low. These right here, these hard, bro. These hard, man. Like, talk to me, talk to me. So once again, once again, man, you cannot go wrong with the UNC color blocking. So this is the Air Jordan 1 Low UNC. It does have black hits on it. And um, very, like, give us a pack. Hoo-wee. Like, Jordan Brand, hire your boy Jay. Because tell me, y'all comment down below. If this was a pack, would y'all cop? Or maybe I'm tripping, but bruh, I think that this would be a fire pack, you know what I'm saying? Give us the pack for like what? Two, three hundred, three hundred dollar pack right here. You ain't gotta bust this across the head, but a three hundred dollar pack, fire, fire, man. So Air Jordan 1 Low UNC's tough. Right here, y'all, we do have another Air Jordan 1 Low, of course, and these are the Air Jordan 1 Low Diamond. So I know I just showed y'all the Shadow Air Jordan 1 Lows, and I was talking about how versatile it is. Nothing different from this one. Very versatile, white, black, and an iridescent outsole on these. I will probably slap some sole protectors on here before I do wear them. This is still dead stock, but it does have some iridescent, like a pearl a pearl color on that toe box don't know if y'all can see it but it's definitely a different type of air jordan one low dope in my opinion man and of course it does uh resemble michael jordan's baseball playing days you see it got the baseball field right there on the tongue so these right here are tough released i want to say about two years ago but these tough got another one that is modeled after a og air jordan one high and that is the air jordan one low royals so i mean I don't, now this might not be the OG looking one. This is more so of a royal toe. You know, if y'all remember the royal toe highs that came out, I think that's where the idea of this one came from. It's very similar to that of the royal toe high. So I'm gonna stick with the royal toes on this one. So you got the low top version of it. Not bad. It didn't come with the blue laces. It came with black laces, but I still do have them swapped out for when I did do the video. So right here, y'all, we do have, I don't know what this is cause I don't got no label on it. So let's see what's in the box. Ah, Gorge Green. So right here we do have the Gorge Green Air Jordan 1s, a recent, recent release, the end of uh, 2022 we had these. And I did say in my opinion that this is a fire colorway. I'm standing on that. And I don't recall seeing too many of these at my local stores, man. So I think that these have been selling pretty good. So I'm not mad at the, the colorways that Jordan Brand has been dropping as of late. So keep doing it, Jordan Brand. Keep it coming. Keep it coming because um, I think y'all doing a good job. Air Jordan 1 Gorge Greens. Gotta have these. These right here, one of my favorites. One of my favorite Air Jordan 1s in my collection. This is the Air Jordan 1 High Top 3. So this was a shoe that released back in like, what, 2019? Maybe 2018. I'm not sure the exact time when these released. But I had to have these, man. I paid resale. I had to go back and grab them. But as you can see or may not see, my pair is starting to accumulate some of that glitter on it. But, you know, that ain't no problem. I can wipe that off. But top three Air Jordan 1s. I was about to say it's one of my top three Air Jordan 1s. But uh, I can't say that. There's too many OGs. But these fire, in my opinion. Had to have these in the collection. Oh, yeah. It go with the fit, too. I didn't mention that. It goes with the fit. Drops mic. Recent shoe from 2022. This is the Air Jordan 1 High Stage Haze. And um, like I said, man, I can't give Jordan Brand credit enough for the colorways because this is another colorway. This is a W, bro. This is a W colorway when it comes to the Jordan 1 High. It's just that I guess people are Jordan 1 out why these shoes like this will be sitting or whatnot. But I think that this was a perfect colorway. You cannot go wrong with this. Very, very versatile. You can rock it with anything like I got on colors, but this can easily go on my feet, man. So, Stage Haze, Air Jordan 1 Highs, W colorway for Jordan brand. Gotta have these. So, right here, y'all, good things coming too. So, I do have a double up of this shoe right here. And this is, of course, the Air Jordan 1 Low Shattered Backboard. So, right there, you got the Shattered Backboard Lows, as you can see. 
got black laces in one got the spare laces in one these do come with three laces it comes with black white and orange this was a pair that i definitely had to double up on because y'all know i'm a fan of the shadow bat boy colorway and it was a must man when i heard that these were dropping you know your boys about the low life and in a shadow bat boy colorway gotta have them so these must man shadow bat boy lows gotta have them another air jordan one recent release i think these came out in 2022 the marina blues man so this did come out at the top of 2022 like i said man another solid air jordan one colorway i, I just don't know why you know i mean people are jordan one out man but in my opinion a solid air jordan one color in my opinion marina blues dopeness you can put your white laces in here and of course the black the blue whatever you want to do with them but i think that this is a solid colorway gives me og vibes but of course this isn't an og colorway but it does give off og vibes easily marina blues one of my favorite air jordan one highs right here this shoe a lot of people did not expect it to do what it did and i do need to lace mines up man but the air jordan one high obsidians bro these right here do i i'm not i'm not gonna bring those out anymore there's no need for me to bring those out anymore but you get the point man you cannot go wrong with the unc blue and this one has the color and it has the materials man so this material on this air jordan one high crazy man so this was one of the best air jordan one highs that we had around the time when these released because of the colorway as well as the leather all around shoe man i had two i had three got rid of them i wish i didn't do that but the money was good man so obsidians must must for the collection so i recently spoke about this shoe in a low top form now we do have the high top and this is of course these are so clean bro the air jordan one high royal toes when these first hit the scene early pairs of these were going for like 900 they were going for a lot i remember but uh of course they just they went down but i'm i haven't looked at the retail or resale prices on these in a minute but i would say that these are probably up bro these have to be up and um my pair is getting a little bit of glitter on it this isn't too much of an old shoe for it to be doing that but like i said i don't know what they do with the leather or what kind of leather this is to be giving that effect but the royal toe air jordan one highs w w air jordan one colorway in my opinion solid solid colorway orlando magic or several other things you can do with this but these are dope bro iconic this man so this shoe right here let me cover up the name but you see that tag when you see that tag like that you know it's something from you know whenever it was but anyways this shoe right here fire shoe i did show y'all one version of this and uh actually this isn't even what i thought it was i thought it was something else but we on these so this is the bread toes i thought this was a whole different shoe but this is the bread toes these released back in was it 2018 2019 but my pair is immaculate man another shoe that had very good level quality on it i wore my shoe once for like 30 minutes and i shouldn't even have worn for that time i still would have had a dead stock pair man but it's all good man because um these are tough bro so brand toe air jordan ones if you know you know these are bussing of course going for a lot on the resale side of things but definitely a clean pair of shoes i had got these for retail i got myself a pair as well as the wife a pair hit both of them for retail so solid shoe to have and um i'm glad to have them right here back on the low life scene y'all we do have a pair of gym reds man so this right here is the gym red air jordan one lows and i still gotta get the highs man if you guys know it came out in a high 85 form it's a pack what they call that pack man i forgot dang forgot the name of the pack but uh they do have a pack that released all-star weekend i wasn't able to get the pack but i do got the lows you know and i'm itching for that high top so hopefully maybe i can probably come across that pack and uh get that in the collection because these are nice you know but i want to have that high top version so all right this air jordan one low right here i'm not too sure if it did it did i was about to say i'm not too sure if it released in the united states but these did release in the united states this is the air jordan one low mochas so air jordan one low mochas it did have that little salmon pink you know sock liner right there dope man these are tough so definitely an air jordan one low i had to add to the collection you cannot go wrong with mocha mocha is a colorway just like the unc you can't really go wrong with it so anything you slap mocha on is pretty much gonna be a banger man so mocha lows 
collection worthy for sure. Another Air Jordan 1 Low right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Low Port Purples. I did show y'all the high top version. Uh, earlier in the video, but this is the low top version of the court purples and I don't know why they put new buck all throughout this shoe But they did it and they did give us a patent leather suit like what? What y'all be doing, bro? But they gave us an all over new buck low with a patent leather swoosh. But I mean, it's it's cool. It did come with the black laces. I did swap them out for purple, so that's not what they come with. It's just how I got them looking right now. But court purple lows, I got them too. Speaking of court purples, I do got another court purple right here, and that is the court purple 2.0s, man. So if y'all remember, the high top court purple Air Jordan ones did come out with a 2.0 and it looked very similar to this it had more white hues on it than it did of the black hues so they did make a low top version and this is much better man this is an all over leather shoe like i said the last court purple low i showed y'all i don't know where the new buck came from i don't know where the patent leather swoosh came from but this would have been perfect you know all over leather leather swoosh just how it's supposed to be so court purple lows 2.0s got them too and another shoe i showed y'all a high top version of already this is the gold toes so i do have the gold toe lows and a lot of y'all probably asking why you got so many low tops and high tops of the same shoe it's really to conserve my high tops i can wear the lows you know get more wears out of these and conserve my high tops for like a special occasion if i'm going out somewhere a little more fancy i'll throw on the highs if i'm going out on a summer day i'm gonna throw on the lows bruh low life one of my favorites this did make my top 22 of 22 list the beautiful air jordan one high 85 georgetowns man so we are supposed to be seeing another high 85 uh, not georgetown but um the black and red i'm calling them the pandas but we're supposed to be seeing another high 85 release soon i think that was gonna go crazy of course it's gonna come with a little booklet and all that stuff just like this one did so i expect the same thing but high 85 georgetowns although i got a lot of georgetown shoes I had to have these so georgetown highs must these right here another dope shoe in my opinion this is a women's exclusive however i had to cop bro the leather quality the color blocking this is something that we haven't seen before when these first dropped i was like yeah bro i need them speaking of these we're supposed to be seeing a low top air jordan one in this colorway and it's gonna be an og air jordan one low man so i'm definitely looking forward to those although i got the highs you know i'm gonna cop the lows i'm gonna even double up bro i gotta double up on the lows um i guess it's for all the men who wasn't able to get this shoe which you were probably able to because i think these went up to like a men's 15 if i'm not mistaken so if you weren't able to get these somehow they do have a low top version that is releasing i might have it up there on the screen but those double up for me but i gotta have the highs i just showed y'all the women's version of this shoe this is now the men's version of that same shoe um this is the air jordan one high chicago or unc the chicago patent leather so this shoe did release the same year as the other shoe that i just showed y'all but this was for the men so this was the men's version of that shoe of course it had more white hits on it and i actually might want to say that this more can go towards the ladies than the black pair i think the black pair was more of a a, a man masculine looking shoe but they did give the men a shoe however you know what i'm saying so we did get a version they were right here so i had to cop still got them I call these the bomb pop joints, man. Look like a popsicle, but got them in the collection. Next, if y'all haven't noticed, we on the red box vibe right now. So another red box. These right here are a recent release from 2022. These are the Chanel. The Chanel Women Exclusive Air Jordan 1s. I think that these right here, fire. Fire, man. They kind of resemble a Chicago colorway in a way, you know what I'm saying? But it does have that Letterman style fur on the Nike swoosh. I thought that that was dope as well as it does have a gray tongue. So you got the gray hits going through all out this shoe. I definitely had to pick these up. I thought it was a dope Air Jordan 1. And prices are real fair on these, man. So if you want them, strike now. But dope shoe and um, the midsole is sale too. I didn't really even notice that. The midsole is a light little sale on it, man. So nice little vintage vibe, but dope shoe. One of my favorites, man. Made my top 10 of 22. Easily could have made my top five, man. This is the Starfish. Air Jordan 1 highs. Of course, they did them just for the ladies, but man, I had to snag them. My feet fought small enough to fit in them, so I had to grab them because these right here, bro, these so hard these so hard and of course the laces shout out to the person who did it first it wasn't me but shout out to the person who i got the idea from and i think it was a dope touch but of course starfish air jordan one highs arguably you could say the shadow bad boy 4.0 but dope 
These right here, one of the few of this type that I have in my collection. It is an Air Jordan 1 mid, but however, these are some hard mids, man. So right here, I do have the Air Jordan 1 mid, blue the great, and I would say it can go with my fit, but nah, I got on white pants. I need on like some sail or some black pants for these because as you can see, that sail is very dominant. It's like a deep sail. Of course, you got sail on the midsole and stuff, but these right here came from the Fear Pack. Think that this was dope, man. So shout out to Blue the Great. Dope, dope Air Jordan 1 mid. He killed it. I think he gave life to the Air Jordan 1 mids with these, but gotta have these. Another dope Air Jordan women's release shoe right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 High C phones, man. So I do have a dead stock pair right here. I have yet to wear them, but I do have them. I think it's just a clean, nice earth tone color blocking on this shoe. Don't know when I'm gonna wear them, but I do know I definitely will wear them because they clean, bro. Clean, clean, nice little mint green on them. I think these are tough. I don't know where the lace color came from, but I'm gonna throw some white laces in there and call it a day. I think that these are tough, man. But the Seafoam Air Jordan 1s, these right here, man, fire, fire. So I did tell y'all about a high 85 releasing and uh, very soon, this is a high 85 that started it all. I wanna say back in 2020, I want to say 2020 these released all-star weekend alongside the air jordan 5 muslins and i did not uh get my hands on these i did get the other things that released actually they did not release around that time i don't think i'm not too sure but whenever they released this was a dope high 85 and i'm surprised that the prices aren't up a lot more than what it is but one of the fieriest color blockings on a shoe of course the chicago color blocking can't go wrong with them people hate the leather but i love the shoe so High 85, reverse bread toes, fire. Up next, we got another women's exclusive. A lot of people had mixed feelings about this shoe. I thought that this shoe went crazy. Haven't worn them since the first time I worn them. So I only put one wear into these, but I definitely need to put them back out, man. That's the tie-dye Air Jordan 1s, man. And just looking back at all these Air Jordan 1s, it's like Jordan brand has been so creative with the Air Jordan 1 silhouette, man. These are crazy, bro. I think that these are dope. This was a women's exclusive, so we all couldn't get our hands on these, but I remember when I first seen them, I was like, it's a must cop. So keeping these in the collection, a dope colorway, but might be hard for some to match, and I can, I can understand that. But throw them some all black, man. Get you some tie-dyes, bro. They tough. All right, y'all, so back to the lows. We got a whole stack of lows right here. I'm going to just go through them real quick with y'all right here. We do got one of my favorites, bro. The Air Jordan 1 Low Denims, bro. These are so cold, man. Like, let's talk about these for a quick second, bro. I think that, let me mention real quick, this was only an overseas exclusive. These did not release in the U.S., but these right here, so fire, bro. I think that they nailed this shoe. It does have that wash colorway on it, you know what I'm saying? And of course, every pair is different. No pair is the same. You can just look at the two that I do have right here. Of course, it's gonna be differences on both shoes, but I think that these are so cold, bro. Definitely a dope, dope executed uh, Air Jordan 1 Low. A lot of people don't even know about this shoe, but as you can see, I do still have my GOAT sticker in here because I did pick these up from GOAT, like I did say. Overseas exclusive only, but whew, these is tough, man. Denim lows. Up next, one of these type of boxes. This shoe did release recently in a high top form. That is the Air Jordan 1 Low True Blues. And why well, I ain't got no laces in here, I don't even know, but they are dead stock. Of course, I might have snatched the laces out of there, but this is a dead stock pair of True Blue Lows. As you guys do know, there is another version of True Blues out right now that does resemble the high tops. They got them in the mid and all that good stuff, but this is, I guess, the more to True Blue, if you want to say, because it does have the elephant print just as the True Blue 3s did. So I want to say that this is the official True Blue Low and all the rest are just imitate. You feel me? But True Blue Lows got them. Next up, we got a pair of Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Greens. Or are these called the Mystics? What's the name of these? The, yeah, Mystic Green. So that was the name that they gave this shoe right here, the Mystic Green Lows. And these aren't the laces that come with them. They come with black laces, but I tried to swap them out. My greens was off, so I don't know if I even ended up wearing these or not. But I do need to snatch out those laces. But Mystic Green Lows got these as well. Up next, got another Air Jordan 1 low that is green, and I think that these are hard. So this is like a pine green 
2.0 colorway. It's like a reverse pine green colorway to say, but I think that these are just nice. And you know, I'm always complaining about the material that they put on there. They do have a patent leather coating on this one right here on the toe box, as well as on the side on the swoosh. But I think the patent leather actually looks good on this shoe. I think this is a dope looking shoe. And um, these are the Incredible Hope joints. That's what I'm gonna call these. Incredible Hope lows. Dope, dope, dope in my opinion. Got these in the collection as well. Last one right here for this row. Whoo wee I showed y'all the highs. I do have the lows, man. So here we got the smoke gray lows. And this is pretty much identical to the high top version. Does come with an extra set of laces as you can see. Dead stock, haven't worn them yet, but I will bring them out, man. Summertime is screaming. Bring out these right here because these is these is cold, man. Smoke gray lows, definitely not a bad pair of Air Jordan 1 lows, in my opinion, man. Gotta have these. All right, y'all. We got a recent one right here, man. I still need to hit y'all with the own feet because I can't go without throwing these on. This is a sleeper. When I tell y'all sleeper, I mean sleeper. A lot of y'all gonna come back and wish y'all would have picked up this shoe right here. This is, of course, the True Blue Air Jordan ones, and I think that this is a fire colorway. Man, I can't, I can't stress it enough how I feel about this colorway, but I do have them. They ain't going nowhere. True Blue highs, you can still get a pair, depending on when you're watching this video. They sitting everywhere, man. But um, I just recommend y'all don't sleep. Don't say I ain't tell y'all. True Blue. Up next, a classic, classic, man. I paid. 300 for this shoe and that was right before the last dance documentary drop let me bring it down here man this is the air jordan one high u n c man so take a look at them right there in the plastic bag man let me take them out we gotta take them out give y'all a nice up close look at these real quick man so like i did say powder blue i call them unc's because of course they similar to that blue but these are the unc slash powder blue highs and i think that these are fire man i wanted these for the longest time i actually seen somebody post them up i was like bro you still got them he was like yeah man i said what can you do do 350 you can do 300 Took them to the crib, man. So clean, very, very clean pair. Like I said, I picked them up for 300. And this was like, like literally like a month before the last dance dropped, man. After the last dance, prices just as well as everything else. These shot up, but had to have these, man. I was wanting these forever. Finally got them. Powder blue, Air Jordan 1 highs. These right here, another shoe. I told y'all not to sleep on these. Hopefully y'all didn't, but that shoe is a recent one. The Air Jordan 1 high brotherhood man so of course this is from his uh fraternity michael jordan's definitely dopeness the color blocking it does look like the lakers but it's not the lakers colorway it is something different of course it does have his fraternity colorways but definitely dope man dope 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 brotherhoods these were sitting if y'all missed out shame on you i ain't sleeping i got them up next, another dope one, man. There's so many sleepers, bro. This was a sleeper in my opinion. This is the Air Jordan 1 High Bloodlines, man. So I know a lot of people got these, and a lot of people got rid of them, man. They didn't hold on to them, but these ain't going nowhere, man. Take a look at those, bro. The quality went crazy. Quality went crazy on this shoe. Of course, it did come with those special laces. Who said man was not meant to fly, but Bloodlines got to have these joints. Another shoe, this was one of my favorites, man. Uh, one of my favorites second, like when, when a shoe comes out with a first shoe and they make a part two, this is one of my top shoes, man. I think they killed the Shadow 2.0s, as you can see them right here, all over gray. It does come from that infamous Shadow colorway. I think they did their thing with these, bro. These is tough, man. So Shadow 2.0s does have that Chicago style color blocking, which you can't miss with. And I think that they nailed these dope, dope shoe classic shoe right here man we got another one of them old school tags on it man so this one right here will be the air jordan one high royals man so if y'all remember man the royals definitely a dope dope og colorway got these back in 2017 when they retro so this is the 2017 version and as you can see them they are glitterified, bro. Got glitter going all throughout that joint, man. But this is, of course, one of the shoes that you do got that glitter effect on. Got to wipe them all down. But dope shoe, in my opinion. I had to have these, man. These are dope. These are dope. When they retro, come here. Had to have them. Another classic shoe right here. This one got the black size tag, man. Another classic shoe. Got these. The Air Jordan 1 Shadows. 
had to cop these. I just showed y'all the 2.0s, but this is where that 2.0 colorway came from. And these released back in what 2018. So this was a year after the Royals. We got the shadows and i still wish they gave us like well i mean i guess they do i was about to say them give us an og colorway like once a year but they've been giving us ogs man i can't be mad at them but og royals clean shoe clean 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 can't go wrong with a black and gray shoe og shadows collection worthy definitely these right here man your boy hit for retail pick these up from a local skate shop bruh you see that paper you should already know what it is if you know you know man but what is in this box right here is the air jordan one high yes sir la two chicago's these i've only worn one time bro one look let me show y'all the bottom before anything let me show y'all the bottom before anything man but these right here one of my favorites these laces were not included i threw those laces in there of course to give it more of that la look but definitely a fire shoe man if you guys know you can rub off this paint and it reveals like a chicago color blocking as you can see those hits of red or pinkish red behind that purple but it's meant to be worn rubbed off and turned into a chicago colorway but you'll never see the red on this shoe because we keeping these things in prestige condition man but nike sb on the tag right there something different but one of my favorite air jordan ones and it makes it even better that i got it for retail man la to chicago right here y'all i showed y'all the low top version of this shoe this is the air jordan one high court purple 2.0s man so definitely a clean 2.0 version of a shoe of course the og court purples this is a nice shoe the only thing i would change i don't really like that tab that they use they should have gave us the og style tag up there on the top but other than that i think it's a pretty solid shoe man y'all let me know og or core purple 2.0s i know y'all gonna say 2.0s i mean um 1.0s but they still not bad Next, this shoe right here man the resale on these was was wild but they of course simmered down since once upon a time these were going for like 12 13 i think even 1400 the satin bread or uh, black toes satin black toe air jordan ones women's exclusive now they're going for around three four hundred but man i remember they were going for like 13 1400 on release day man i remember these i had like four pairs of them got rid of them so fast like faster than you could think of for that price whoo them was the good old days but satin black toes i recently got these probably like what a year and a half ago two years ago had to have them back because i sold them for the high high but I mean, that's what they were going for. And they was, they was bye-bye. They was bye-bye. Black toes. <laughs> so right here, man, one of my favorites, man. One of my favorites. Prices have went up crazy on these, man. Shout out to the homie, Ryan Got Sold, man. So Ryan Got Sold, Soldier Boy, this pair right here. And this is a crispy, crispy pair of Air Jordan 1 High Origin Story Spider-Mans. So... Here we have them right here, dead stock as can be. Take a look at them. Take a look. Do you see that butter right there, man? So he gave your boy a crispy, crispy pair right here of the Spider-Man origin stories. Prices have had shot up on these. I had, bruh, I've had an endless amount of pairs of these. Got them all for retail, sold them for like 350, 400 and i look back i even sold my personal pair and i look back and i was like man i want to get those back and prices went way up but you know i made money off them i had to spend money to get this pair but shout out to ron got sold he was holding down a very crispy crispy over and baka pair for your boy man so spider-man's we got another version coming out soon but these tough right, another pair that your boy paid resale for classic tag on that right I'm missing another part to this shoe, man. I'm missing another part to this shoe. That shoe is none other than the Not For Resale Air Jordan 1s. So I do have, of course, y'all can see this colorway. I want that yellow colorway, man. I want the yellow one, but I do have this one for now, man. As you can see on the back, it did have the infamous No Photos. So you do have the No photo stuff right there on the back of it, and it does say where and it has me on the other shoe it had different types of details on it it said crease please 
on the toe box. So it was giving a message that you're supposed to be wearing your shoes. Of course, your boy Jay wears them. Of course, of course I wear them. You got to know it. But these are the not for resale joints. Leather quality, eh, bruh. Leather everything on this shoe. A1, bro. A1. So, definitely one of the dopest Air Jordan 1s in my collection. Just the meaning behind it. And, you know, they really was trolling. They really was trolling with these because these was very, very limited. But, yeah, not for resales. Got these joints. Up next, this shoe, y'all, came out with two versions. It came out with a general release version and a friends and family to say version, which was numbered. I do have the non-numbered pair. And that is the Homage to Home. As you can see right there, man. You did have a Chicago blocking on one side and a bread color blocking on on the other side i'll take out one real quick to give y'all a nice little in hand look at them but here they go y'all how much to homes one thing i hated was this tongue of course they these are the scarface joints but i hated the stiff tongue but of course you got your breads and then you got your chicago's right there on the inside but how much to homes nine numbered should have got a number pair but it's all good i'll be cool with these got them in the collection these right here i had a double up just recently sold it but one of my favorites bro nine og colorways the air jordan one high mochas whoo mochas are so fire man this shoe right here dopeness in my opinion man jordan brand bro talk to me i need i need a refund or something man y'all put in glitter on all my shoes man but Mochas, besides all that, I think the Mochas is one of the dopest non OG colorways when it comes to the Jordan 1, in my opinion, man. Y'all let me know, bro. These must have in the collection. Taking it back to 2016 with this one right here, man. This is the 2016 Air Jordan 1 breads, as you can see. You got them right here. I done wore these quite a bit, man. I was killing these. I was wearing the crap out of them before the bread, uh, the um, patent breads came out. I was rocking these like crazy, but they still look good in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's a shoe that lasts and really it gets more, you know, look. It gets a nice little aged look whenever you wear them and the leather breaks in. It has a nice little look to it. So these are one of those shoes that get better with time the more you wear it. And it's, it's a solid shoe, man. So Air Jordan 1 breads, Dope in my opinion. Another non OG colorway. Very great for the fall festivities. We got the Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Years, man. So this shoe did not, of course, come with the laces that I got in there. It came with black laces, but I did throw some sale laces in there to give it a nice little sale pop, man. But these right here, dope, man. Take a look at that leather. Nice little tumble leather hits on there, but it does have all over new buck like a Timberland boot or something. But these right here, one of my favorite Air Jordan 1 in my collection, the rookie of the years, man. And of course, these are going for the high high right now, but they're a solid shoe in my opinion. Game time, man. So these right here are the Air Jordan 1, where is it? Air Jordan 1 Game Royals right here. Now, I got red laces in mine. I, don't, I know why, because of something that I wore, but they don't come with red laces, bro. Your boy just be doing crazy lace swaps and stuff, but they do not come with red laces. They come with black laces and maybe white laces, but I got red laces in mine for some strange reason, but we got them right here. Take a look at these. The Air Jordan 1 Game Royals. Clean shoe. I think these released back in, what, 20... 18 2017 something like that but the game royals the clean pair air jordan ones got these in the collection and look i just noticed this man i just noticed it but this is a little too much it's a little too matchy magic for me but it'll go you feel me it'll go game royals got one more shoe to show y'all after this one and we're gonna wrap it up but big time sleeper uh, no now nah, these ain't the sleepers these ain't the sleepers these right here are chillers man these are the air jordan one blue chills blue chills this released at the beginning of my youtube career man i think this is actually one of the first videos i posted up on this youtube channel man so got a lot of meaning to it man um all over patent leather this was a women's exclusive they did not release in men's sizes but you know your boy got a small foot so i can go ahead and get these so blue chills got these in the collection and mine is of course in some some good condition man these are dope though blue chills all right now this is for real a sleeper alert man so when these released they were sitting everywhere everywhere but boy the prices of these now is nothing to play with man so we got right here the air jordan one storm blues man so storm blue air jordan ones clean clean pair air jordan ones back when these released 
People wasn't checking for them. Hence to why these sat everywhere. These actually went on sale, bro. These went on sale. Nobody was checking for them. But, um... They checking for them now, and the prices ain't where you want them. But Storm Blue Air Jordan ones, that's how we gonna end off today's video. Of course, these laces didn't come with them, but I threw them in. I got a little blue tip action on there. But man, that is it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down, man. I appreciate y'all for watching my Air Jordan one mostly collection. Did I show anything outside of Jordan ones? I don't think I did, man. So that was my Air Jordan one. That's all my Air Jordan ones that I do. Well, I'm lying because as you can see. As you can see right here, I got a couple of Jordan 1s and I got some other things mixed in. So next is part four. Part four is next and I'm going to take y'all to the end of the room over here. We're going to look at some of that stuff and we're going to finish up with all this stuff over here. So, yeah, man, um, appreciate y'all for watching, bro. I'm about to sit in front of this TV. I might, I might watch one of the episodes or something. I don't even know what I'm going to do, man. But make sure y'all hit that like button. Give me 3K on this one, man. 3K, man. Go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Y'all asked. I delivered. I brought y'all three out of four parts of my collection. So thank y'all as always. And I will see y'all. See y'all on the next one, which will be the final one. Man, I'm going to do a big for y'all. So I'm going to catch y'all up then. And look, look, look. Part four coming, man. That's all I got to say, man. Jay making movies.